BZRs. So the first thing I should probably say before I get into any of this, so the first thing I should probably say is that the VCR community is real and they are out in force on YouTube. So if by some way you've ended up at this video because you truly are in the market for a VCR like I was, that is where this begins, but if that's you, then I've got a link in the description which is really all you need and suffice it to say there are many people out there that know all of the things about this and I am not one of those people. And not that I wouldn't want to be one, it's that I couldn't be if I tried. That's how good they are is what I'm saying. So if you are one of those people that have stumbled upon this video, I thank you for your service. I have only arrived here because of you. And it's, if it seems like I'm being facetious in any way, I'm not, I mean it. But if you, like me, are mostly along for the ride, then let me tell you how I came to own these six lovely ladies at my side. First up is the Sanyo VWM-800. And I'm going chronologically here because this is the first VCR we bought as a married couple. That's right. Not only did I grow up in the age of VCRs, but I was a newlywed when you could still go down to Walmart and just buy yourself one. I want to say this was like, it was like 20, maybe 30 bucks at the time. And it's kind of a little VCR that could. I still have the remote, still works fine, never gave me a single issue. In fact, captured many a VHS tape on it back in my digitizing days, which haven't ended, so I don't know why I said it like that. Because I always had it up here that, you know what's even better quality? Is S-Video. This doesn't have S-Video, or I guess that's synonymous with Super VHS in some cases. But this never had it, and I knew that was a difference in quality. I never knew how much, but I knew it was better. So that was something I was always kind of on the lookout for. So enter this, the Philips VR960B, which I did buy on eBay, actually, fairly recently for a cool $200, and thought I was getting a great deal, but that's the extent of the research that I did, basically. VHS, okay, Super VHS, better. So go find an S-Video VCR. Found one, came with this lovely remote that doesn't work with it. It's not, doesn't go to it. It's not even a universal from all I can tell. So eventually the door fell off too. It's kind of an eventual disappointment. And I say eventual because there was a noticeable picture quality and not just because of the S video, I think. I think it is probably a nicer VCR. It output a much nicer picture than the Sanyo, but eventually just stopped. And I mean that literally, like I put a tape in and it just powered down. And this is apparently not uncommon with some VCRs of this age. In fact, I looked it up and it turns out the reason why this happens is because VCR old. Unfortunately, in this case, it also ate the tape that was in there at the time. So I took it to the local shop, which we actually have a local shop, and I would call them out in a positive way, but this story doesn't necessarily end Positively, actually, you know what? Yeah, no, still, these guys are cool. This, if you're ever in the area, check out this, this shop here. They, they do a great job. It's run by two guys, as far as I know. And the reason I will say they're great is because they do obviously know their stuff. Because I took this Phillips in there, I told them what was going on, and I told them, don't worry about the door. I don't care about the door. I just want tapes to work so I can resume digitizing. So a few months went by. I called them, uh, no dice, so I went down there, uh, even less dice, he couldn't find the unit, and it, to be fair, it was not the guy I spoke with originally, it was the second guy. So I left, and eventually he did call back, and even though in that same visit where he couldn't find the VCR, I was like, it's the, you're going to notice the door's broken, I don't care about the door, don't, you know, this has got to be the third time, don't fix the door. He calls me back, he's like, I found it, I fixed the door, is that all there was? I said no, I told him what was going on and just said it probably needed a tune-up or something, I didn't know, I, that's the thing, again, let me stress, 
do not know. So I let the professionals take care of it, got it back, and same thing. So again, I'm not gonna really fault these guys. They are a cool couple of guys that obviously know their stuff because what I did leave with after this appointment was a list of, and this was the original guy I spoke with, a, a list of like the top VCRs that he recommended. And it was with that list that I finally went to the internet and this is the link I mentioned at the top of the video, the VCR buying guide on digitalfaq.com. And a lot of it was backed up by what that guy at the shop told me, which was heartening. But before I had a chance to do anything with it, apparently word had gotten out because the VCR started to flow in. And thank you very much if somehow you were the people that gave me these VCRs that are now watching this video. Thank you, regardless of what I might say here now because the first one I got was the Zenith VRA424, and it does the same exact thing as the Philips. You put a tape in, and not only does it stop, the whole thing just powers down. So I kind of didn't go to the trouble to see if I could fix it or if it was worth fixing it. This VCR doesn't necessarily show up on anybody's lists anywhere. It was somebody's mom's VCR, which if I ever heard a good description of a Zenith device, that's probably it, although, I will say I have fond memories. I want to say one of the first TVs we owned growing up was a big brown Zenith at some point. Could be wrong, but that seems like a logo I stared at an awful lot when I was small. Then the same lovely people were kind enough to give me the Go Video DVR 4400. The old Go Video brand that we're all used to. And I'll be honest, I have not given this one a try. But also at this point, I knew what I wanted. And again, referring to that list of VCRs, that VCR buying guide, where the ones in bold are the slightly more recommended units, I guess. So I was kind of on the lookout for certainly a JVC. If I could swing it, I checked eBay. They were all over $400 and I thought that was a lot of money. So, I did my best. I had heard good things about Mercari for a long time. Never actually bought anything on there, but I noticed that if I did start buying things on there, I believe it was like a 10% coupon or something like that. So by the time I was done, it was still not quite under 400. It was still cheaper than anywhere else I could find, and it looked like it was in great condition. I mean, obviously buying it in any auction sites, you're kind of taking a gamble, and after my experience with the Philips, I wasn't necessarily in high hopes, but the, there was still the sticker on it. Uh, it came with the remote, or most of it. So I thought my chances were good. I bought it, it arrived, and it works like a dream. I mean, look at it. It's made out of solid gold, plastic, and it just plays everything. I had tapes that I thought were dead. And I think I mentioned this at some point somewhere else, but I had put them into this guy and th there was no picture at all. So I just wrote them off as, you know, now having been too old. Shelf life expired. And I put them in this and they showed up clear as day. There was one that wouldn't play all the way through unless I fast forwarded it. I don't know, I need to look some more of this up, but even that one after a few minutes pops up and it looks just gorgeous. They all look great. As the legend goes, apparently JVC, who does have a professional line of VCRs, has had a professional line of VCRs. Apparently some of those and some of that know-how trickled down to the prosumer and consumer models, and that's why these things are kind of coveted nowadays. So I feel lucky that I got one for even 400 bucks, and again, have been nothing but happy with it. I've captured hundreds, eh, over 100, VHS tapes at this point with the thing and it's still going strong. So that's kind of the end of my professional VCR journey. I've got a workflow now, everything turns out great. I guess, yeah, sure. I could tell you about the Sony DSR-25 digital video cassette recorder. I picked this up as partial payment from a client not too long ago and it's a good thing because these things go for even more than VCRs do nowadays. But it has passed through via Firewire so I basically use it as a real big S video converter at this point. I've kind of had some bad luck with the easy solutions with those cables you can buy, even the good ones. I've had a lot of luck and good experience with the Elgato, I think it's just called Video Capture, 
but when I got my M1 Mac, the older one, I think they've solved this now, so if you buy a new one, it might work with, and I'll let you know, because I'll probably end up buying one eventually, uh, but the uh, it stopped working with the M1 Mac, so I tried something called a VidBox, or brand name VidBox, and that was very bad. Didn't give me a picture hardly at all, so I hooked this guy up and it looks great. Poof. But the VCRs kept rolling in, and somebody gave me a Toshiba DVR620KU, which I thought maybe they were still making these or something, because the one I got came new in box. In fact, I even considered doing an unboxing for a second. This is dumb. Because yes, you're seeing that HDMI logo correctly. This literally has an HDMI out and built-in up conversion, which I can't imagine is any good at all. This is kind of a, huh. I almost said boomer special, but that sounded dismissive and also I would be including my generation in that. I know there's plenty of us out there that don't want to go through all of this just to get their VHS tapes to tip-top quality. But that truly is where this story ends for now. Uh, you can send your VCRs to Ryan Runs Care of... No, don't send me your VCRs. But I will do this, tell you what. If you have a VCR story, drop it below in the comments. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling some nostalgia for these things for whatever reason. This is, this is kind of fun. Until maybe now I have to figure out where to put them. <laughs>